All right, this is just an intro to Replit, how to use Replit video. And so once you're in your classroom, you'll see the list of assignments over here. And then you can see if you've submitted it to me, the instructor, or not. And in, if it says draft, it means that you have not submitted it. If it says submitted, then you know that you've clicked the submit button waiting for me to approve it. Sometimes I'll have an auto grade feature turned on where it might accept it right away if there's no errors and it might say uh, marked complete. And if, if I have to look at it, if it says submitted and it's waiting for me like this is, once I click on marked complete, then it'll say marked complete for you. And that means that it's been graded and it's good to go. Okay, let's look at that. Let's go get in here and look at the first assignment. Now, when I was messing around with this for my class, I accidentally left another print line in here. But I'll show you that one in just a minute. I'm going to delete it. So here's what the instruction tells us to do. So here's how the window is laid out. It gives the name of the assignment up here, and it tells us what the, the, the instructions over here on this side. And it says, go ahead and type in this code. So I've got this little box around it. So it should look like this. Your code should look like this. Then the output should look like this. Well, where's the output? How do you run your code and test it? You, when you hit the Run button, it comes out down here, the Output window. So I clicked Run. Sure enough, there it is. Hello, world. So it worked, and there was no errors. Now, if I get rid of a quote and I run it, let's see what happens. Ooh, got an error. Now, let's see if I get rid of the quote and the parenthesis, and I run it. What kind of error? Will it be the same error? Nope, it's a different error. It says missing parenthesis and call to print. Did you mean print hello world? Well, if I put these guys back. So sometimes the correction it might tell you might not necessarily be right. Watch when I run it. Hmm, invalid syntax. Oh, we need these things called quotation marks because the quotes tell it that we're going to be using a string type of data and if it's just letters words uh, it needs to be classified as a string type of data don't worry we're going to talk about that in the next one we have three different types of data string integer and floating point but uh, so I'm just saying that to start getting you familiar with that terminology but um, don't worry about memorizing that yet talk about that in the future. All right, so now that I can run it, test it after I played around with it, okay, good, it's working. And I think I want to do one more thing. I want to prove to you that you can have as many of these lines as you want, print lines. There, it printed both of them. So whatever you tell the computer to do up here, the computer says, your wish is my command, and it follows our instructions. So now that we have it working like it's supposed to, Let's go ahead and hit the submit button up here, upper right, and failed mismatch output. Ooh, well let's go, what's wrong? I'm not going to submit anyway, I want to see if I can get, fix it. So it's supposed to say, hello world. Okay. So I wonder if I put a space in there, let's go see. Keep trying. Let's see here. Hello, world. That's what this says. So I'm just going to copy this guy just to verify here. Everything's working. Paste. And let's run it. Okay. And let's test it again. Submit. Hey, that time it worked. I must have had an extra space. And then I hit submit. And now it sends it so that the teacher can see it. So I can see it on my end. And the teacher will log in. So, there it is, completed. All right, have some fun programming.